Welcome to another installment of Reynolds Product Review. My name is Brett, I'm the videographer at Reynolds Zero Imports. I'm here today to present the new ESU HO scale German BR E95 heavy six axle electric locomotive, also known as the German Crocodile. A little easier to say. It takes a lot of time and research to create a video here at Reynolds, so model has to be exceptional for us to make the effort. The ESU E94 is definitely worth the effort, and Reynolds considers this ESU locomotive class E94 to be one of the best electric locomotives on the market today. The exquisite new ESU locomotive is packed with new innovations and technology. The incredible new model is available in Era 2, Era 3, and Era 4. Now, let's take a closer look at this awesome model in action. This model has a finely detailed metal housing and frame. Also, numerous separately applied detailed parts which perfectly render the powerful appearance of the prototype. ESU has taken into account the prototypical differences of the metal chassis according to the era. The different number of sandboxes, the realization of wooden and metal treads on the roof, and of course, the type of headlights are distinctive examples of the accuracy applied to these models. It goes without saying that the headlights are freestanding lanterns. The delicate and highly detailed pantographs are fully functional and can be controlled by any DC or Marklin digital system. The pantographs will automatically raise and lower and switch position with the direction of travel. The model is also equipped with sensors for sensational sound that get triggered in curves or when turning over turnouts as well as the Locksound V4 decoder with two speakers and a USP unit assuring reliable operation even on dirty tracks or extensive turnout arrangements. Naturally, the Locksound decoder uses the original sounds of the E94. Like with all ESU locomotives, they are equipped with universal electronics with plug-in current connectors and universal wheels set to the model can run on either 2-rail DCC or Marklin 3-rail AC digital. In order to have sufficient space for the speakers and the enclosure, each bogey has its own coreless motor, complete with flywheels. Four traction tires make sure the locomotive can transfer its power to the tracks, and for perfect current pickup, the center axles of each bogey are sprung. The E94 was truly a unique locomotive due to its articulated three-part frame. The Deutsche Reichsbahn had the mighty E94s developed as a more powerful successor of the class E93. Delivery of the first locomotives commenced in 1940 during World War II. Since the class E94 was important for war efforts, they were not subject to delivery stops due to shortages of raw materials. A total of 146 locomotives were built between 1940 and 1945. The E94 was a very impressive and powerful locomotive. Its output was 3300 kilowatts and had a top speed of 90 kilometers an hour. In 1946, the newly commissioned Deutsche Bundesbahn or German Federal Railways put another 49 locomotives into service which ran until 1956. 
After 1956, the Deutsche Bundesbahn was in need of stronger locomotives to deal with increasing freight demands, so the power output of the last remaining 23 locomotives had been increased to 4,680 kilowatts with a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. And due to the considerable technical differences, they were reclassified to the E94.2. After the war, 44 locomotives remained in Australia and were renamed as Class 1020. Most of the Austrian units experienced considerable modifications during the 1960s. Most of the E94s that had been located within the Soviet-occupied zone were transferred to the Soviet Union and returned to the Deutsche Reichsbahn in 1952. The DR arranged for the refurbishment of 23 units, which were mainly hauling heavy freight trains and occasionally heavy express trains. In the West, the DB also used the E94 as a heavy freight service. However, they were also used for hauling commuter trains, which occasionally consisted of two pairs of rebuilt coaches. In 1985, the DB decommissioned the last German crocodiles. Well, the DR kept them in service until 1990. 15 units of the Class E94 and 18 Class 1020s have been preserved, some of which are still in operation today and are used in heavy freight service by some private railway companies working every day of the week. It's amazing that these iconic German locomotives are nearly 80 years old and still being used by private railway companies. The Class E94 is definitely a legend amongst electric locomotives and for this reason very popular with the model railway community. This concludes our presentation on the ESU HO scale German BR E94 heavy six axle electric locomotive or the German crocodile. To purchase this and many other great products like it, please visit our website Reynolds.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Thank you for watching.